we are in the Irwin kitchen the night before a midweek holiday. But isn't it important being the principal's daughter? Yes, dear. Then why did Miss Jones give me homework over a holiday? We're the only class in school that got homework to do. My advice to you, young lady, is to get it done before tomorrow, or it won't be done at all. But how can I write a composition on the most interesting character I know? I'm only nine years old. I haven't had any interesting characters yet. I'll be glad to help you, Jackie. You can pick the character. Why, Joyce, that's nice of you. Uh, the only character she knows is Ralph Hodges. Oh, yeah. The cutest someone in school. And the coach told Daddy today, if he only stays eligible all year, he'll make all city halfback, forward, and pitcher. And can he dance? He couldn't last week. He can now. Yeah. Joyce made up some fancy steps and taught him to Ralph, so he couldn't dance with anyone but her. I pee. Jackie. Oh, I don't mind, Mother. You can watch us tomorrow night. And where are we going to be tomorrow night? Oh, that's all settled. Now I'm to the beach for a weenie roast. A weenie roast? I told everyone we were going to the country club. It's family night, you know. We're going to go to a weenie roll. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, yes, we are. Mother. Mother. Maybe your father has some plans of his own for the holiday. Someday I'm going to fix that door. I'll call the fix-it shop. Never mind, dear. I'll fix it myself. I like to fix things. <laughs> Now, what's all that argument I just heard outside? It's about tomorrow night. All my friends are going to the country club. All well, my friends are going to the beach for weenie rolls. So I suggested we wait to see what plans Father had made. I've never taken a holiday and wear me out for weeks to come. Well, we counted on the whole family going to the country club dance. You and Ralph will just have to go alone. Mm -hmm. We positively couldn't go without Daddy. Oh, you couldn't? No. You see, Ralph has overdrawn his allowance, and he can't afford to take me. Oh. Well, I'm very sorry for both of you. But inasmuch as I'm already so tired, I can hardly stand. I'm going to spend tomorrow and every minute of it in bed. Daddy, Phil! What do we do all day? Well, we'll see that Father has a good rest, and that's final. Thank you, darling. I need it. Shh. See that, buddy? Don't you know Mr. Irvin is sleeping? Quiet, Willie. Yes. It ain't me. It's birds up there making me noise, huh? I don't know how I can ever face Ralph again, Mother. What'll I tell him? Why not tell him the truth, darling? That my very own father's spending the whole day in bed? He'd never believe me. Somebody's going to surprise you and sit on that lower lip of yours. Ah. Uh. Mmm, pancakes. You know, I was just dreaming of an angel. <laughs> Happy admission day. Thank you. Did you sleep well, dear? Oh, like a log, like a log. I mm. hated to disturb you, but you said you wanted to listen to the admission day ceremony. Oh, yes, I do. Yes. They'll be on in a little while. Oh, I'll listen, I'll listen. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Irwin. Remember me? Oh, aren't you Dudley Dudley? The second. Of course, the second. Uh, maybe there's an excavation going on someplace. Wouldn't you rather watch them dig? I can't. I have to write a composition about you. Oh. About me? Yeah. You're the most interesting character I ever met. Oh, that's very gratifying, and I, but I decline the honor with thanks. You mean I can't write about you? Precisely. Then will you write Miss Jones a note saying that my interesting character wouldn't cooperate? Oh, no, no, you don't. You can't get out of your homework on my account. I don't want to get out of it. I'll just stick around and make notes. Oh. You go right ahead and eat your breakfast. Make believe I'm not even here. You can start on the lawn now, Willie. Yes, ma'am. How are we going to get your dad out of bed? I got to show the fellas what a good dancer I am. I'd just die if you went to the dance with another girl. Well, I haven't learned to dance with another girl yet. Come on. There must be some way to get your dad out of bed. Mm, what's that noise? Willie with a lawnmower. Mm. Mm. Turn 
on the radio, will you, Dudley? What for? They're having admission day ceremony. That's just what I want to hear. Hmm. What are you writing now? Note about how you can't eat when in the presence of others. Must be a psychosis. <coughs> called upon to address the citizens of our fair community on this auspicious holiday, Admission Day, the day that our glorious state was admitted to the Union. For the next two hours, I shall endeavor to relate and dramatize stories... Leaping catfish, two hours? We should all is your dad mechanically minded? Well, he likes to think he is. That, that makes everything duck suit. United States of America. In the crowd today, I see many faces of the citizens... Excuse me, Dad, I have to get something from the bathroom. Uh -huh. Grandfathers and grandmothers toiled long and hard to bring us the... My room is worse than the Grand Central today. Station. Since the days the pioneers opened the wilds of a virgin America, our great state has grown... Wouldn't you just know? I think someone's running the vacuum cleaner. No, it's the radio. Bang it on the upper left-hand corner, will you, son? You'll loosen the tubes. Bang it! Oh. How dare you strike me? You got another station. Oh. Mm -hmm. Go downstairs and get a screwdriver and a pair of pliers from Ms. Irwin, will you see? Yes, sir. He wants pliers and a screwdriver. I'll take over from here. Hi, Mr. Irwin. Oh, hello, Ralph. Sure is a swell day outside. Thank you for the bulletin. I came to fix the radio. Sound like there's a back condenser. Uh, that's just what I thought. Why not go downstairs and listen to your program? Uh, I'm staying in bed today. You can lie on the couch in the living room. You're very thoughtful. Here, take this. That's a bit of radio downstairs anyway, you know. I'll uh, just get right down there and listen right away. Why don't you watch him for a while, huh? There is little that is left wanting for the traveler or sportsman. Our glorious state abounds in scenic wonders. The winter sports are enjoyed not only by residents of our own communities, but both winter and summer, we play host to our neighbors who come from the Atlantic to the Pacific and from Canada to Mexico Hello? to share in the joys of fishing and hunting, of swimming and boating on beautiful lakes. Dudley, turn that down. I can't hear. Uh, no, no, I... Hello? Oh, uh, hello, Aunt Agatha. When did you get back from your vacation? It's your Aunt Agatha. Shh. Are you calling from home? Well, we'll pick you up later for dinner. I have a lovely pot roast in the oven. No, no, I won't get up. She's your aunt and you're her favorite nephew. Yes, I'm still here, Aunt Agatha. Tell her to come over some other time. Gosh, Ralph, are you sure you're doing the right thing? Of course I'm sure. They use a shock treatment for most everything these days. Do says to send a kiss. Goodbye. Oh, well, Mr. Irwin, I fixed it. Oh, coming, Ralph. Yeah. Uh, uh, why don't you come upstairs and listen with us? I can't, dear. I have to cook and clean. Oh, you cleaned yesterday. Why do you have to do it all over again? Because she's your aunt. That's why. Oh. Oh, Mr. Irwin. <laughs> coming, Ralph. Joyce, come on in and listen to the ceremonies. No, I don't think so, Daddy. What's my razor doing in here? Oh, uh, Ralph was using it. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for me, Ralph? And how? Uh, let's listen to it together, should we? Um, sit down. Oh, I'd, I'd rather not. It's very educational, and judging from your grades, you could do with a little education. On a holiday? Sit down. Oh! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
Now, please allow me to spend the rest of the day in peace. And remember, the next time you decide to play tricks, the principal of a high school is paid to be smarter than his students. Leaping catfish, Mr. Irwin. You're a regular detective. Mm -hmm. May I go now, sir? Please do. Make a note of that, Dudley, Dudley the second. Our social workers go to the homes of the sick and needy, bringing comfort and food and even... <laughs> I'll make a note of that, too. We'll return to the Irwins in just a moment. Now, huh? back to the Irwins. But what if they play a Roomba, Ralph? We'll have to dance. We can't sit it out. Is dancing all they do at dances? Sure, that's what chaperones are for. Willie, do you have to do that now? What'd you say, Miss Joyce? Do you have to vacuum right now? Oh, of course I do. June numbers are expensive, and on holidays, they charge double. They're worth whatever they make. Well, of course they are for difficult jobs, but a stopped-up sink, why, it's child's play. I'll, I'll have it fixed and be back in bed in 15 minutes. Do, dear. Remember what happened when you fixed the washing machine? Oh, well, that was an accident that could happen to anyone. <laughs> Come on, Willie, drop that thing. Follow me. There's man's work to be done. Yes, sir. I know just how you feel, Mrs. Irwin. My mother says that men are the cross that women must bear. Hello, handy plumber. This is Mrs. Stewart Irwin. Here, Willie, take this up to the sink and prod around with it. Prod around? You heard me, prod around. Imagine those kids trying to get me up. I wouldn't get out of bed today if the house caught fire. But, Mr. Irwin... Don't contradict me. I said I wouldn't get up today if the house caught fire. I heard you, Mr. Irwin. What you doing, Willie? Helping your daddy plumb. Helping him what? Plumbing. You see, Miss, Miss Jack is sinking and stopped herself up. Is daddy plumbing? Oh, yes. Take the hood himself, prod around, but... Run for high ground, everybody. There's gonna be a flood. Daddy's plumbing. Ralph, do you know a good plumber? My folks call the square deal shop. Oh, uh, we'll hold hands later. I've gotta make a phone call. Uh, get me a bucket, Dudley. Stand back, son. Maybe you open the gas connection. Oh, nonsense. What would the gas connection be doing among water pipes? Here. Willie seems to be on his toes today.
Yes, Mr. Irwin? I'm going to tap on the pipes. You tap back when I hit the right one. Do you understand? Ain't I supposed to prod no more? No, not until after we tap on the pipes. Yes. the house? Oh, uh, with... Uh, oh, it was one of the neighbors walked in. Uh, but, Willie... Uh, Go out and put your robe on, dear, please. Look, honey, I... Oh, all right. I... Genesis people. Must be a no. Willie! Yes, Mr. Irvin? I'm behind you, Willie. Look, Willie. I... Well, are you going for a walk, Mr. Irvin? No, I am not. I look at all this mess I've got out of your pipes. Was that down there? Uh oh, got another pipe. Uh oh. you out of my sight. I think that's a fine idea, Mr. Irvin. Yeah. Oh, my roast, my lovely... 
Yes, it's little Jiffy, dearie. Come on, grab that. Can I help you, Mr. Irvin? Yes, go up to the garage and get me that monkey wrench. A uh, monkey? Mm -hmm. Oh, dear, how will I ever cook my roast? Milk and a pint of cream. Miss Irwin, your water's on fire. Oh, don't let it worry you. Miss Irwin's plumbing today. Oh, I might have known. Two quarts of milk and a pint of cream. See you next Friday, Miss Irwin. Fine. Thank you. Mommy, can I have a drink of water? Did Daddy do it, Mommy? Daddy did it, darling. But I want a drink of water. Thank you, Miss J. That's too bad. You could get a drink out of the oven like I did. Handy plumbers. Oh, heaven must have sent you. There goes the back door. Go ahead and answer it. I know the way downstairs. One stop plumber. He's a well but it was. I know, I saw the handy truck out front. It's easy being a dough man in a hotel and isn't around here. But walk outside. Square Dale Plumbers. Oh, that's gonna be a convention. Marble plumber's doing in the basement. Believe me, it's better that way. They won't even let me help. Well, that's good. Well, you better go up and get cleaned up because we're going to have to go out for dinner, you know. Oh, now, uh, Stewart. Well, maybe you're right, dear. Yes, I. What's this? A winter roast in a bathtub? I never heard of such a thing. Well, in a way, you started it, Pop. Well, now, you get dressed. Mom's taking us out for dinner. Oh, fine. Come on. There you are. Seven fifty dollars apiece. Uh, look, Mr. Irwin, you're doing a fine job of teaching my son. Now, why don't you stick to teaching and leave the plumbing to us? Yeah, you're lucky you still got a house. It's guys like you what keep guys like us in Cadillac. Huh? <laughs> Hurry, dear, we have to pick up Aunt Agatha. Oh, is she going with us to the dance? I can dance. Will you teach me, Dudley? Will you? Dudley, come here a minute. Look, um, I'll give you a dollar for that notebook so you can buy Jackie an ice cream soda at the dance. But who will I write my composition about? Well, I'll write it for you. Jackie's too? Will you tell Miss Jones not to give us any more homework over the holiday? Now, Dudley, all right, you win. Yippee, it worked. Now, this was a plot. Look, Mr. Irwin, if you want your dollar back... Oh, no, no, never mind, never mind. Shall we go? Come on, dear. Oh, I shouldn't be going. I've got homework. You've done enough homework for one day. <laughs> Shall we go? 